Hello everyone, this is Stevio here. Back on the turn. So we're farming early in the morning today. I don't know if you guys can notice. I'm gonna let you see. I was pretty excited to finally get shaders into my game. So, still a little bit early in the morning. Uh, the sun really comes out about 8 o'clock. You can really see it. That's when I think it really shines. But I, right now, I'm really liking it. So we are headed back to the farm because cotton prices are amazing right now. So almost three grand at the Black Sheep Spinnery, I think. So we need to get our cotton bales hauled over there. So, ooh, a little hairy there. I'm not gonna force you guys to watch the whole thing, so I think I might time lapse it. We are headed back to the farm really quick. I need to get go back there to get into our our 2500 HD Chevy. I believe it's hooked up to the 40 foot gooseneck park this over here good old 30 we'll jump in this so do a little time lapse Black Sheep Sprintery is a pretty big haul. It's about three quarters away across the map, pretty close to Squad's farm. We are making about $180,000 per load here. Moolah. Do a little first person in cab driving here. Unloading our second load of white gold bricks there. Got a little hairy there when we just came out of synchronization with another player.
Man, do we got a lot of cotton here stored on our farm. This 2500 HD truck is making this look easy. Got Country Boy over here to the side, run the case harvester. Also look like they have their S790 in that field too. Country Boy is a helper on Squad's team. So we are hauling again. I got Austin Farmer helping me out. We are still trying to get all of our cotton to the spinnery. We just got so many bales. I don't know how many loads I've gotten. I just lost some of my load there. There we go. Don't know what little glitch there or something so we're still hauling away we're in the K30 now I think this is a K30 it's pretty bad because I used to own one of these on the farm and I can't remember exactly what it's called so you guys can dog me in the comments so let me know I know I already asked this but do you guys like these uh, shaders I have in because I am loving it oh man something just flipped me around so the problem with this K30 is I think I need to get the tow package on it because it runs a little low and I think they make a tow package for that reason so because we don't have it sometimes the waves in the road kicks me up so it's unfortunate but we are getting it done anyway so I think I'll end up hauling with the 2500 HD until I can get this in the shop get a new suspension lift on it it's unfortunate because I love the way this thing sounds and it's so throttly and throaty reminds me of my old farm truck we nicknamed the silver bullet. I think it was a 1977 diesel. 6.3 I believe it was. Not 
positive. I was pretty young when that was it. Had a flatbed on it too. Good running truck. Basically ran it till the wheels fell off. So we are hauling to the Black Sheep Spinnery right up here. So it's quite a haul. Thank goodness I had a helper come come on and help me because that is so nice. We're making about 178,000 a load. So we are over 8 million dollars. 8.2 to be exact. So we're rolling in the big bucks. We're going hard in cotton. Problem with that is we, it's never, the high price is never on our sell points. It's always on a sell point far away. So we get to haul team. So I'll probably mostly time lapse most of this. Here's Austin Farmer right here. He's helping me out. We still have a few bales back at the farmyard and we have more bales in the field. So, uh, Wooly, my teammate, and Gus have been getting on here at odd times and really knocking this out. And they have been phenomenal at helping me. Uh, in the comments below I'm getting a lot of requests of hey do you need help on the farm so yes I, I do need some help at time to time I do have good helpers already so you know they they've been here for a long run and they're gonna keep coming as long as they're available but unfortunately all the positions are filled for this tournament so please pay attention Follow us, follow this Discord on in the description below, and when the next tournament comes up, put your uh, your resume in. I think it's a resume. It's just a short uh, your experience, your hardware, uh, your experience in farming simulator. It's basically making sure that you can play multiplayer with your hardware you have your computer hardware and your internet speed and then your experience at farming simulator and what if you meet if you check all the boxes that means you get your name gets put in and you could be either a backup farmer or a teammate for the next tournament because I am really enjoying this tournament it brings new life it feels so much like uh, driving down the countryside you get to see all these tractors running in the field lead farmer Nick and uh, he has another helper out there they're combine and I believe that's soybeans over there so they are running so it just brings so much realism into the game when you get to play with multiplayer. So, and especially in FS19, they did more work with their multiplayer, making it more real. You can have your own farm, you can run your own farm, you can control your own farm. It's not an issue of uh, buying and selling like it was in 17. They have really made it nice. They really focus uh, FS19 to help out the multiplayer side of the game. And if you don't like multiplayer, just play single player. I play a lot of single player too on my series. You know, I'm still excited to get back to that series and knock out some more videos. So I have some a few ideas to do. I'm not gonna spoil anything but I already have a uh, videotape a few videos but just don't have the time to edit it and 
work my full-time job so soon they will be kicked out for you guys viewing pleasure uh, and then it, I would also like to uh, thank all the support I've gotten on uh, squad farms so a lot of people have been supporting saying love your vids and all videos and I'd like to thank all of you for all your support I'm gonna continuously try to improve myself and try to keep impressing you so if you like the video please give me a thumbs up if you uh, would like to uh, see something special so I'm thinking about uh, some series uh, I'm really waiting for the perfect map to come out before I, I start a series like I'd like to try an old iron a uh, small farm and just focus around uh, either pigs or cattle if that's something you'd like to see let me know uh, the problem is you know old iron you gotta find the mods there's way more let's say new plastic mods out there because most of the new tractors and combines they made with more plastic than they did back in the day so there's more of them mods out there than there is uh, old iron and most of the old iron uh, some of the graphics aren't up to my standards but that's okay so if that's something you'd like to see let me know if not let me know too down in the comments if you see something I can improve on let me know down in the comments too so I believe this is the last bales at from the farmyard and then we have more bales I have no idea how many still in the field so uh, I did not sell them properly there we go we only had two bales that time, so 118. So we might break 9 million, maybe even 9.5. I don't know exactly how many bales are in them in our field. So I am definitely putting in a lot of hours hauling. So, I've been on this server for a while, hauling back and forth. So... Which is completely okay with me, I kind of enjoy it. It's kind of like truck simulator to me. Making some great time. Spawn. So Austin farmers just trying to find out where the bales are at. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and take this truck back to the farmyard because I believe I need to also fill up gas in one of the cotton harvesters so and then this is just better suited for that and maybe I maybe I'll service it and get it uh get the tow package put on it too so I can uh so it pulls this gooseneck way better give it the respect it deserves There's Austin Farmers hauling around. I'm really, for whatever reason, it seems like the back wheels sink in certain places, so. Don't know if that's a map or if that's a the truck thing. I wasn't having the same amount of issues with the 2500 HD, so I think I'll stick with that, especially I have so much hauling to do it done.
park this into our shed here quickly. Jump into our 2500. Now, trying to find. Okay, I think I can go this way. Believe I can, anyways. We still have two fields with the white gold bricks on them. It probably would have been smart to think about cell points when we were picking out our farmyard. Too late now though, we'll have to haul it all. Go on a little scavenger hunt looking for bales here. Looks like we might have got them all off of this field. Field 11 still has plenty of bales on it though. We'll pass Austin Farmer on the road there. That was a busy day making the big bucks. So we finally got done running them cotton bales. Well, actually, we're not done. Austin Farmer said he was going to continue on. I, I did it for three hours, so kind of getting mind numbing so I finally decided to stop so I think he's gonna finish off we still have cotton bales on one field left prices are just so high that we just can't stop so we started out with about 6.7 mil and we ended with 9.3 so appreciate you guys watching this little haul and vid that we did Thank you to Austin Farmer for helping me out hauling because it would have took me probably twice as long. So, thanks for watching, and I will see you later at the tournament.